What up guys, well, I'm Chef Vic and today I'm going to show you guys a awesome, delicious, most tender chicken sandwich you're ever going to have. It's going to be marinated with a beautiful chipotle yogurt marinade and also it's going to be dressed with a avocado cilantro dressing. It's a very delicious, hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. So right here I have chicken breast that I'm gonna cut in half and get prepare for the marinade I'm gonna make out of the yolk. So let me show you guys how I'm gonna cut it right in half. All right, guys. So best way to cut these guys, let's go right down the middle. Let's find the center. Work your way there. just like that the reason why you guys want to cut these chicken in half is because it makes them cook quicker so much quicker and it also helps the marinade penetrate the flesh so it has a good points unless you guys don't want to do that be my guess so to start the marinade for the chicken you're going to need about one cup and a half or so of Greek yogurt. Now please make sure that it's plain because you don't want to get the vanilla. Uh, next up, two cloves of garlic, chopped up. So, so. peel the garlic. Garlic in the bowl. Next up, one lemon, I mean one lime. Juice up. Cut it like one over like this. There we go. There it goes. The reason why you want to do that because you guys chop it up too much. The oils will start to release from the cilantro and that will get all on board. Okay. Salt. Pepper. And then the key ingredient to this, chipotle. Chipotle is our uh, jalapeno that is smoked and then marinated into adobo sauce. It's quite delicious. Now I'm gonna use, that's also good soup all over here. <laughs> so, kind of rough chocolate. I use one chipotle. Now you guys want it spicier than that. Please be my guest to use it in there as well. So what you can do is just get the liquid. 
That liquid has all the flavor. Couple spoonfuls of that. Nice. Get your spatula. Mix in that yogurt. This marinade goes very well with chicken. You also can make this as a dressing almost. If you're making a dressing, I would just make it smoother and it's splashing my. <laughs> there we go. And now a little touch of my salt. Alright, guys, the marinade is pretty much done. So, the next step you guys want to do is add your chicken to the marinade. Like so. Now the good thing about this marinade is that you also can marinate this the day before. Um, I would suggest marinate at least one hour or better two hours. But overnight is even more better. But if you guys have the time, go for it. All right. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start off with the dressing now. Chicken's in the fridge marinating. We could start doing that. So this is a nice kind of refreshing dressing almost of a uh, avocado dressing. I'm using uh, two tomatillos of uh, the dressing and one jalapeno. Um, I try not to make this spicy because of the jalapeno and stuff. Uh, what I'm trying to achieve with this is basically uh, this is the flavor component of it. So I'm just gonna lay them on the sheet pan. I'm gonna roast them nice and a uh, little bit of char as possible. I'm gonna put them under the boiler that we have in uh, this little toaster oven. All right, guys. So while those are roasting in the toaster oven, I'm gonna show you guys the other ingredients that would go inside this dressing. So it'll be one avocado. Take it off. Let me get my knife. Well, like was the dressing goes pretty much with anything. Tacos, freaking uh, sandwiches, freaking quesadilla. You name it. So cut pretty much dice with avocado. It's a thing. Now cilantro, it's a good bunch i hate i don't really like saying cups but if we have to measure i would say a good old one full cup of cilantro uh loosely packed i kind of like this so let's get a bundle like this and just add that baby in there next up lime whole lime all the juice so you're gonna squeeze that baby in there just like that nice and zesty and delicious. Next up, Mexican grandma. The Mexican version of sour cream, delicious. You can get this any most stores. Actually, it's pretty much available in anywhere. So let's go into the cheeses, sour cream, aloe, where we can find. I found this mixed with the Mexican cheese, actually, actually cheese aloe. Very delicious, loose. Tastes exactly like sour cream, just more looser. So about full cup or so. I will put the exact measurements and recipe in the de um, below this description. A little garlic powder. Onion powder. Salt. Now we're peppering. And then salt. So I kind of want this salsa to this dressing to be kind of a bright and green color. So I'm not gonna fully, fully roast them, but I want somewhat of a color in them. Just like this. So we're gonna get them and add them your dressing like so this is a dressing 
It's freaking awesome, dude. I mean, I was can't get enough of this stuff. This stuff is so good. Mm. You know, there's a slight spice from the jalapeno. And it's like this, the avocado comes through, the lime comes through, it's so good, guys. I think you guys will not be disappointed of this dressing. Trust me, it's like a cross between a dressing and guacamole, guys. It's, it's, it's delicious, I don't know what to say. All right, guys, time to cook these chickens up. <clears throat> I do want to say, I mean, I'm using, let me see if I get that food. I'm using uh, peanut oil. So in this case, you guys are allergic to peanuts, you can use any kind of oil you guys like. This, I'm like, I'm sort in a phase of using peanut oil for some reason. So get your pan nice and hot for this chicken. So the pan is nice and hot. Let's get that started. So a little bit, like a tablespoon or so. Roll that pan up. Yeah, I can really feel the difference, guys. The chicken's like almost soft too, so it's nice. In it goes. See, instantly you should smell that. Oh, it's delicious. Very well for it. So, um, just make sure it's fully cooked so I'm roasting so it makes it a little more tender as well. Um, I'm gonna cut some onions, get things ready for the chicken sandwich and stuff like that. So when I'm ready to build it, it'll be more easier. Just get nice and prepped. So I'm gonna slice up some onions. Well, one onion. Oh, well, one half onion. A uh, red, uh, one Roma tomato. And then I'm gonna garnish as well with a little bit of arugula. Get some fresco cheese on top. Of course, the beautiful dressing on top as well. And then of course, chicken. And I made some fresh bread. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God. It's gonna be a good sandwich. I, I'm telling you. All right, let's build it. So, to build it, let's get that beautiful dressing that we made. Scroll it up. And don't be shy with the dressing, guys. Don't be shy. Just like that. Beautiful. Next up, we get our beautiful tomatoes on there. Like that. Beautiful. I don't know about you, but I don't find my tomatoes pre seasoned, so I'm gonna pre season them up. A little pepper. Still on some of our cheese, break it up in crumbles. So each bite, then we get the cheese. Just like that. Now a little red onion. Just like that. Perfect. Now we gotta top it off, of course, with that beautiful chicken. And guys, when I say it, it's juicy, and boy, it's juicy. Put that like that. Let's cut it up. So, just look at that guys, juicy. Look, is it just tender? As uh, me and my dad would say, tender as the night. <laughs> it's tender as the night, people. All right, chicken like that. So what I like to do to refresh it even more, it's still a little cilantro leaves. Right on top. What this does is this appreciates that beautiful chicken. Lime. This piece of lime. Nice. It wakes it up. It just wakes it up. And then of course we're using 
organic arugula. So it adds a peppery, peppery flavor to your sandwich right here. Now this is a sandwich you can't get it anywhere, boys. And I'm telling you that for sure. So on a top half, more of that dressing. It's more, just layer that some of that. You know what I'm saying? And then top it off like that. Now that's a sandwich. Look at that. A little couple shots there. So it's time, time for the big taste. Well, I mean, flavor heaven. Oh boy, it's freaking there. Oh man. It's you almost see a, a moment of silence. You know what I'm saying? Just, just take it all in. Just, just, just have a moment of silence here for a second, man. Just, no means I'm patting myself on the back, but damn, it's good. You guys will enjoy this. Guaranteed. I mean, it's delicious. There's nothing wrong with a sandwich. Nothing wrong. <laughs> I should stop now. <laughs> um, but no, the sandwich is very good, very flavorful. The citrus hits you off the bat, and then it just mellows out to a very creamy, almost like buttery because of the avocado and then the freshness of the peppery freshness of the, the uh, arugula and then the cilantro comes in and then the onions and you can literally taste a little bit everything that on that sandwich you can literally taste it all and then of course the bread is delicious as well so trust me i will make a video probably on these kind of breads i'm about to do like a sandwich bread type of video for you guys and this video this sound uh, this bread right here definitely will make it on there uh, hope you guys enjoy this video um, If you guys are new to my channel hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to notify you guys your upcoming videos There will be more um, Upcoming videos guaranteed um, Also to you guys if you guys like this video and you want to support this channel hit that like button You know just hit that like leave a comment below. I love hearing from you guys you guys have been doing awesome leaving comments and stuff like that I really appreciate you guys Bottom my heart, I love you guys. You guys are awesome, you guys rock. Thank you so much for everything. You guys are helping me out a lot. Uh, so a couple little announcements before we take off and leave. <laughs> uh, I am working on, still I'm working on that announcement I uh, told you guys about is the uh, cooking with fire. I'm working on it, I'm planning how things, how I want it to go, and so you guys have the best experience I can give you guys. Um, you guys really deserve that from me and stuff like that. So again, patient. And there is a couple more series I'm also working on as well for you guys. So you guys have cool entertainment from my channel and stuff like that. Again, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.